Hi guys, you're watching Behind the Wheel and my name is Fahad. Now as the year 2023 is coming towards its end and we are already in the last quarter of the year 2023, many of the automobile manufacturers have jumped into a price war for their EV models. As we have seen recently, BMW has just slashed its prices for the model iX3 just in order to promote its sales and they want to get rid of this model before the start of the new year as they could be bringing something new for us in the next year. Similarly, we have seen um, Mercedes have recently introduced its EQB series, which is an SUV completely electric and has got two variants, 250 and 350. And they've also introduced EQA SUV as well in the market. Um, we've also heard from BMW that they have introduced iX2 which is similar EV like Kia EV6 in terms of shapes it's like a coupe SUV but they haven't yet provided the actual price and the details about this model um, similarly we have heard from Kia that they are going to introduce the Kia EV9 which is a long-awaited electric SUV a really giant SUV but they are yet to introduce the prices in Australia but they have already started giving its price in US so similarly BYD has introduced on 17th of October its first ever sedan EV model in Australia which is called BYD Seal now this model was in introduced or announced on 17th of October to order but it'll be available in a couple of months time maybe by December this year or by maximum January 2024. The highest variant of BYD seal comes with a range of around 650 kilometers which is pretty cool and it can accelerate from 0 to 100 in just only 3.8 seconds. And it's an all-wheel drive dual motor sedan which is pretty cool the overall exterior design looks very stylish and modern and it comes in five different colors for exterior and has a choice of two different colors for the interior now the interior as well as exterior looks pretty modern and cool um, just like its previous SUV EV model BYD Atto 3 which was a big hit and a big success in Australia they have brought in their first ever sedan model which is likely to be a game changer and why we'll have a look at the specs and find out so let's see what different variants they have brought in so BYD seal comes in three different variants. The number one is BYD Seal Dynamic, which is the starting variant, and that costs around 49,888, so just under 50,000 Australian dollars. And then in the middle, we have BYD Seal Premium, which costs around 58,798 dollars. And the highest variant is called BYD Seal Performance, which comes for around $68,748 as the base price. Now let's have a look at the starting variant, BYD Seal Dynamic, and look at the specs. So in terms of specs, the BYD Seal Dynamic has the BYD Blade battery of 61.44 kilowatt hours. The max power is 150 kilowatt and the maximum torque 310 newton meters. And WLTP range is 460 kilometers. The maximum charging capability is 7 kilowatts AC and high power DC charging can be supported up to 110 kilowatts. It comes with 18 inch alloy rims and 0 to 100 acceleration can be achieved in 7.5 seconds. It is a real wheel drive and comes with a complimentary one year roadside assistance. Now these are pretty nice set of specs. But if you recall, this is almost almost the same specs as BYD Atto 3 SUV. So you can say the starting variant, which is BYD Dynamic, BYD Seal Dynamic, is just a sedan model or a sedan version of BYD Atto 3 because it's got almost the same specs. Now let's have a look at the BYD Seal Premium. The premium comes with again a BYD blade battery but a very high capacity which is 82.56 kilowatt hours. Bigger battery of course bigger the range which is 570 kilometers WLTP and its max power is 230 kilowatts while the maximum torque is shown up as 360 newton meters which is a good deal. 
AC maximum charging capability is or the compatibility is for 7 kilowatt charger and for DC the maximum capability is 150 kilowatt charger now this medium or middle variant has a heads up display which is an additional feature compared to the base variant it comes with a genuine leather wrapped steering wheel and seats it has a 19 inch alloy rims and it can accelerate from 0 to 100 in 5.9 seconds now this is a big deal this is of course a big jump it's a real wheel drive and again comes with a one year roadside assistance as a complimentary package so overall this is a big jump from the basic variant high power high torque and bigger capacity of course offering bigger range and of course it accelerate quicker than the base variant but just costs under 59000 now let's have a look at the most expensive or the highest variant they've introduced for this sedan which is called byd seal performance now this comes with the blade battery of the same capacity as the middle variant which is 82.56 kilowatt hours but look at this this is a game changer it can accelerate from 0 to 100 in 3.8 seconds now this bring it very close to tesla which is tesla model y can accelerate 200 kilometers per hour speed in 3.7 seconds so it's almost the same as tesla but a lot lower in price and we'll talk about it in a moment um, it's got the maximum power of 390 kilowatts the maximum torque of 670 newton meters the charging capability is for ac maximum of 7 kilowatt charger and for dc maximum of 150 kilowatts it also has a head-up display like the middle variant it also has a genuine leather wrap steering wheel and seats like the middle variant it has 19 inch alloy rims like the middle variant but these two features are additional which is the frequency selective dampening fst and intelligent stock adaptation control itac it's an all-wheel drive and a dual motor of course this is also not in any other two variants so this is an add-on too and its wltp range is 520 kilometers yet it's still good because it's above 500 and there are very few other rivals in the market who are offering anything above 500 kilometers and this one also comes with one year roadside assistance so overall this car is pretty much the same in terms of specs as tesla model y but let's have a look at the number of colors it comes in so this one which is the highest variant comes in five different colors while the starting two variant comes only in three different colors um as we look at the colors it comes in white as the basic but you can pick to choose arctic blue for an additional 1500 or an atlantis gray which is kind of a similar blue but a bit darker for another additional 1500 or you can choose a black again for the same additional price but if you want to choose a gray you might have to pay a 2000 on top of its basic price um, this is the highest variant comes with 19 inch alloy wheels then we have a choice of two different colors for interior one is the basic black or we can pick and choose a blue one which is called ocean blue for an additional fifteen hundred dollars this looks pretty cool to me so i'm going to click on this one let's give it a postcode to calculate the on-road price uh, the nearest store is in indoropilly in queensland brisbane and going to the price adding on-road costs finally it leads you to just under seventy five thousand dollars now that is a pretty good price for these kind of specs because if you compare it with tesla model y this is still around two twenty thousand dollars cheaper than the tesla model y and you can book these today by just paying a thousand dollars and expect a delivery in two to three months so a good addition in the market another option uh, for the ev lovers this is a price war which has just started towards the end of the year and we don't know what's coming up in 2024 it seems like this is going to be a year of evs with more price wars and with more options for the consumers in the market please like the video and share it with others who are looking to buy an ev these days please subscribe to the channel thank you this is fahad signing off cheers